So um, as far as optimizing your landing pages, that really brings us to the last point that I want to discuss in this episode. And that's actually how to optimize your landing pages for your target keywords. Now, this is a lot of information I'm gonna throw at you. It's gonna be a ton. So don't get overwhelmed, watch the video again, look at seoforbeginners.com, it's all on there. This is often referred to also as on-page optimization, you know, landing page optimization, actually physically doing something to your page, you know, editing your page specifically. This is on-page optimization. So the thing that you're gonna need to do is pretty much optimize your landing page with your keywords so Google understands it, knows how to crawl it, knows how to, you know, where to index it and, and, and how to store it in its database. So let's start with the URL. You know, the first thing you wanna do is try to include your target keyword in your URL. If you're creating a page or a landing page, it should be pretty simple. Include your keyword in that URL. Always use hyphens, never use underscores, it's just tradition in Google. Make sure the entire URL can be easily read by humans. Don't use any ca crazy character strings. So if you're creating a landing page and you're naming that page, the URL, it shouldn't say, it shouldn't be database driven, it shouldn't have all these crazy characters, a human should be able to read it. You know, let's skip over to another point, meta tags. You know, meta tags, your, your keyword should definitely be in your title tag, prefer preferably at the beginning of your title tag. You know, include it, don't overstuff it, don't put a lot in there, don't put a lot of keywords in there over and over and over again. You're gonna confuse things and make things very unethical and Google doesn't like that. So you also want your keyword in your title tag. Now this won't, I'm sorry, you want your keyword in your description tag. You know, putting your keyword in your description tag won't actually affect your SEO, but it will affect your click-through rate in the search engine results because when people do a search, you know, they see your title tag and your description tag and if they see their keyword they typed in in your description tag, they might be more apt to click it. So I hope that makes sense. Also, for your title tag, you don't want to, you know, have too many characters in your title tag, only 55 characters or less, otherwise it could get cut off by search engines. Also, keep your description tag to under 155 characters. Now, again, this is a lot of information, so just don't try to jot all this down. Just take it in, re relax, read it, listen through it, and listen to it again, you know? So, the next thing is let's talk about your heading tags. You know, you want to definitely kind of like your title tag and your description tag, you want to include your keywords, your target keywords in your heading tag, preferably your H1 tag, your first major heading tag. And you want to also always have your H1, your H2, and H3 tag in your landing page. The H4, H5, and H6 don't really matter too much. Um, and that's just heading tags, right? Um, the, the fourth area I want to talk about are images, right? And image optimization. Uh, every image on your landing page needs to have an alt tag so Google can understand what the image is. It just really tells Google what the image is about. So make sure it's optimized with your keyword. You know, and also, you know, optimize your image file names with variations of your target keyword. So don't just name your, your image, image123, name it, you know, after your keyword like nyc-lawyer-tax or something like that. And also, like the URL, use hyphens, never use underscores. It's just Google likes hyphens instead of underscores. So the next area I want to talk about is your actual copy, the actual contents of your site. Um, now, at most, you're going to want to use your target keyword two, three times at most. You know, we search engine experts found out that two to three times is the sweet spot. Keyword density really doesn't matter. It's frequency. Use it two or three times. Make sure you also try to bold it, you know, or underline it or italicize your keyword or the sentence in your keyword at least once or twice throughout your content. Um, also try to keep your, put your keywords in the first hundred words of your page, you know. Um, another thing is, you know, a big indication on whether or not a page is on page one is the content length. And we've seen really good things with, con with landing pages that have over 2,000 words on it. So have a lot of words, 2,000 words or more would be fantastic. So the last area I wanna discuss is the actual code of your site. You know, just a few areas I'm gonna discuss about the code. You know, make sure your code is W3C validated. Um, never use Flash. Flash doesn't work on mobile devices or tablets or mobile phones. Make sure you have a sitemap and don't use any inline CSS. Now, I threw a lot of information at you, I know. It's a ton of information and I've included a few things to help you out and to remember those things. So, I've, also, I've actually concluded on SEOforbeginners.com a landing page optimization checklist. You can download it for free, everything is for free. Um, as well as a landing page audit tool 
so you can test you know, different landing pages that you have or maybe one that you're working on. You can actually test it right here on SEOforbeginners.com on the, on the landing page optimization page. So yeah, I'm sorry to throw so much information at you, but that's how SEO is sometimes. Um, and that's really it for landing page optimization. I know there's a ton of more stuff that I can cover, but I don't want to throw too much stuff at you. I know I threw already a lot of stuff at you. So remember one big thing that search engines rank web pages and landing pages, not websites. So don't think of it as trying to get your website to rank higher. Stop saying that. Don't say I want to get my website ranked higher in search engines. Start saying you want to get your landing pages ranked higher in search engines. I hope that makes sense. Let that soak in. Watch this episode a couple times. I will see you on the next episode. Thanks.